their participants and distinguished guests and innovators. On behalf of Blockchain Nigeria Israel Group and our esteemed partners, I'm thrilled to welcome you to the highly anticipated Decentralized Intelligence Summit 2023. So if we're going to be doing innovations, those are areas we should be looking at. How do we use blockchain to solve problems in the agricultural sector? We have a lot of supply chain issues within agriculture that we can use blockchain to solve in the health system. So if I want to buy land from Chuta, you know, we go to the land registry, and then we have this third party in our transaction. So what they've done is that they have eliminated that third party because when you have third parties in transactions it creates certain problems one third parties collect fees because the land registry has fees or moneyless to collect their fees yeah, yeah. Um, we sponsored like the biggest open source um, festival in africa which is oscar fest we were also at um, blockchain Dev fest in uganda and we recently started our writers program we launched our blog on ashnode and Currently, we are working on our community website um, to amplify our digital audience. Now, um, your problem statement said the thing about trust. Yes. And this uh, solves for distrust on the side of the influencer. But what about on the side of the company? Because influencers have, always, have also had instances where they've done jobs for companies and then not gotten paid. Yes, thank so you very much. So we have... How do you make sure that people aren't just lying to collect the insurance money? And how do you do this trustlessly? Okay, so um, the idea of the insurance is to make it easy for everyone. We know that using traditional means of doing this would enable you to have to submit some documents or do all of that. But with Oniduro, you just have to um, put um, create a portfolio on it. And you know, the time they, we, they adopted the national blockchain policy, you can tell that a lot of people, even startups, are beginning to have hopes and people are building upon that news. And that is actually generating more awareness and encouraging people to come into the sector, into the space. And that can actually cause a bull run. Oh, my name is Peculiar Aruliba. And I had an experience some months ago. I was asked to write an article. I'm a content writer. So I went online, I did my research, and then I wrote my article and I submitted it. Now, the instruction was it was going to go through um, an AI scrutiny and they would analyze if it was written by AI or not. And then I, they came back with a report that it had about 5% AI generated content, of which I did not use chat GPT to write. So how experts like Celebest were involved in this pro in your project? And then I think um, um, like you, uh, through, 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 this, through this app, um, community will respond and community care about their patient, but probably if the community member is amateur, there might be the risks that they they touch the emotion too much. So like how those professional therapists 
um, experience will be used in this app. Okay, um, we are going to be adopting well, um, a kind of at the on, on, on chain attestation service to be able to um, allow professionals, people that are experienced, to be able to verify their credentials for them to be able to give professional advice on the platform. Put your hands together for this. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. You are on the railway. Stay down, stay down. Otherwise, no one's going to the cross you. We are on the mountain. We are on the mountain. If you want to see a better day, make you on the road show. What God has done. For this hackathon, right, because similar proof of concept, it's not on the front end. However, because I'm already working on the version two of this, it's going to be, there's going to be like a server side, right? So that we will not leak our um, secrets to bad feed actors. Impact. What, in your estimation, do you think hacking the operating system of human civilization in the context of AI, what do you think it means? So, so I think using the word hacking civilization seems really nefarious um, because I don't think that's, that's what it is doing. Um, it's almost no different from how when we were all younger, we used to watch Terminator movies. And growing up, we used to have apprehensions as to what robotics would do in our society. I like to talk about Nigeria, even though uh, we know a lot of AI activity <laughs> is outside of this country, but we're Nigerians, right? So we have to begin to have this conversation about building first infrastructure, because there's, uh, AI can't work without the data. We can't have the data without the hardware. Matter over time, in certain types of tasks, right? Especially when it comes to handwritten tasks, or maybe writing articles, writing CVs, or basic stuff that people, you know, put it online, right? So these robots or these AIs can go and study those things, learn and improve. As AI successfully hacked into my civilization, my personal answer is that it is hacking, it's in the process. But if we don't regulate it, then it really, like, the answer would be yes, it has done that. And so we know that in the core of human civilization is culture, and in the core of culture is language. Along the line, um, technology came into place, so you now use design tools to do design. That means you took someone's job. But why were you able to take that person's job? It was because you learned the new tool for that same job. So you are transiting to same job, it's still the same job, but new technology. So the advantage will be you being able to use that technology for the same job. Industry experts and fellow tech enthusiasts, it is with great pleasure and um, it is with great pleasure and anticipation that I stand before you today at the Lagos Decentralized Intelligence Summit 2023. Uh, this event marks a significant occasion in our journey towards embracing the transformative potential of blockchain, Web3, and AI. May I use this opportunity to commend the convener of this conference and the active collaborators and partners of this great conference for their efforts towards AI um, awareness, blockchain adoption in the Nigeria ecosystem. As we navigate the intricate landscape of these groundbreaking technologies, we find ourselves at the crossroad of innovation and adaptation. The theme, staying ahead of the curve, resonates deeply, urging us to think beyond convention and explore the uncharted territories of decentralized intelligence. Blockchain technology with inherent transparency and mutability has already... Um, and I also got to learn a lot uh, from Mr. John uh, it was quite interesting to be reminded to think big. For some reason, as I sat there, I thought to myself, wow, had I forgotten that? You know, and the principles of thinking about what's in it for the customer um, as a way to stay ahead of the curve. So this, this for sure has been a really great um, summit for me. Uh, I'm sitting there, I'm learning a lot especially from the panel. It has been such a wonderful panel. Uh, very knowledgeable um, uh, and experienced practitioners in AI um, that have gotten to teach me a lot of things. Uh, and I appreciate that. Me 
on that realm, macroeconomics and regulation situations that you need to go on. And uh, the audience, it's time for you to give clap offering uh, to this panelist. They've been wonderful. Please clap for them, clap for them, clap for them, clap for them. It's, it's free, yeah. Say so thank you so much, and uh, we won't be taking questions because of time limit. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you so very much.